Welcome back to Brando Sushi Life. Today we're gonna be looking at how to create this kind of uh, lotus flower. And I'm gonna treat this like a like a 3D grease pencil therapy. So we're gonna be drawing this manually. So let's get started. So this is gonna be maybe slightly technical, but it's not so hard, uh, not so bad. It's, it's pretty easy. So Shift A, grease pencil, blank. Okay, we don't have anything on the scene. We're gonna go to the top view. And we're gonna go to draw and we will be using the ink I like the ink and then string 100 radius you pick your radius but you can start uh, doodling so I'm gonna start just drawing something like that uh, it can be any stroke you can start anywhere but we're gonna switch to geometry nodes now and I'm gonna go back to object mode we have grease pencil object there we have gonna create default cube we're gonna replace this with the grease pencil okay we can drag and drop the grease pencil there we're gonna turn on instance because if you turn this on uh, this allow instancing of non-geometric object type like light or things like that okay, let's save this very quickly so this is GP Lotus art so we basically want to have some kind of circular array and the fastest way is to just append it uh, append the circular array from Johnny Johnny Matteo so after you do that you have the circular array group that you can use and we simply um, if you plug in the, the cube you're gonna get the cube right and it has the radius of 2 by default we're just gonna need to make it small but in this case we want to have the grease pencil okay okay now it's a it's getting somewhere okay so we have the radius so it's basically a circular array we need to make this value <coughs> this value like really small maybe a radius of 0 0.02 it's okay that's uh, almost zero so suddenly we have a way to draw grease pencil and circular array and okay so let's see grease pencil draw mode and we can start continue to draw now suddenly we have some kind of a 2d but 3d painting art a uh, way to make like 3d art like this just like in a something like procreate procreate is very cool to make this type of thing there's actually like a few apps that's allowing you to draw this kind of art. So we have this flower, okay, we have the cube. Maybe in a way we can kind of pipe this pencil outside. So we have a way here. We have the cube, right? The cube is following the grease pencil. And so if we want to make another one, let's just put this to the side. Select everything, put to the side. I will duplicate the original. Put this back. We already create one artwork that we can be proud of. Create another grease pencil. Uh, blank. Start drawing. And this is gonna correspond with this guy. So first of all, select this cube and drag and drop this grease pencil now get back to this guy draw mode and start drawing okay from the top view however okay here i'm drawing the second artwork oh yeah one thing i forgot to mention okay this guy can have uh we can control the number of vertices as well and we can actually randomize the instance if you want to for now let's not do that let's not do that let's just create like a multiplications and now we can get back to our grease pencil draw mode yeah we can actually yeah, start continue making the flower 
you can go to edit mode like hit tab and then just delete everything and then go back to draw mode and draw start drawing again if you want to at some point turn this into 3d you can certainly do that um, you can use like a sphere chalk method like turning each and every polygon every close shapes can be like a polygon that's one way to do it or you can like scatter objects but the easiest way actually the there's a there's a way to turn this into real 3d objects is by turning it into curve so let me show you let's say we are happy I like the first one yeah and then I gonna just right click select this grease pencil and then right click convert this into Bezier curve so now we have Bezier curve this Bezier curve still have information from grease pencil we can actually simplify this guy first actually uh, if I'm not wrong okay but for now select the curve object and then just increase the depth so you can see grease pencil becoming curve <clears throat> if I'm not wrong we can also just uh, clean up clean up the curve a little bit simplify the curve yeah so it's much better clean and we can so we have this design we can put there and with this guy we can simply use our curve oh actually this guy let's drag the curve in there and then just use this as instance relative or in as instance it should actually reset itself okay that's uh, interesting did I did I make mistakes or did I reset do I need to reset the position of this guy? Maybe I did. Yeah, that's interesting. <clears throat> but yeah, we get a different result. Just need to reset the position, I guess. So we have one, two, three. Uh, and we have the curve well anyway we have this design I think I did something slightly wrong there we just simply uh, give it like a material metallic roughness if you want to have the inside like I said <clears throat> because this is like a <clears throat> like a curve objects we can use sphere chop and something called polygon polygon edge map just to fill the inside of this polygon there's another way to do that but uh, I think this is one way the fastest way just join everything and then intersect and yeah you can fill up the inside if you want to know how to do that maybe I'll show it in another video but I think you can look at the older video you can basically fill up every close shapes so we have like a full kind of like a design um, that you can 3d print or use it in your 3d animations all right so hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye